Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girls talking to one here back with my Persona 4 Golden Let's Play. Last time, we finally were able to get a one-on-one -on -one with Namatame, and he was clear-headed enough to explain his side of the story. And yeah, it turns out he's not actually horrible and evil or anything. So, after Mayumi's death, who was his girlfriend, yeah. You know that whole story we hear about at the beginning of the game. Well, after she died, and he still kept seeing people on the TV, what he thought that meant is if he could find that person, more so after um, Saki Senpai also died, but his whole theory was, if I could find the person that's shown on the TV, put them in this TV world that he had access to now, because he, he never went fully in, but he knew it existed, obviously. He thought, okay, they'll be safe in there from the killer. Whoever it is, if I can just put them in there. So that is why he went around in his delivery truck and kidnapped Yukiko and everybody else. You know, all the events that we've been living through. But he did it with good intentions. He did not know that that place was not safe. He thought it was, is the bottom line. So... Yeah, that means there's still somebody else out there who is truly behind all of this. And we gotta figure it out, and quick. So, yeah. Also, Teddy is missing, so that's not good either. Because he felt guilty about Nanako. Okay. Go to sleep. Today is the day school was found. School was the school was founded, so you had the day out. Okay, investigate the town. Ah, right. Ooh. I hope I can remember what to do. I forgot about this. Um, I guess we talked to everybody. It's been a while since I've had to do this. But I should know, since I love this game. <laughs> Ugh. About the murders. That incident last spring? I still wonder what happened. It was a pretty big deal, wasn't it? I'd almost completely forgotten about that. Wow, I must be getting old, huh? Okay, so you don't know anything? Really? Okay. Never mind. How about any of you? What is it? About the murders. Uh, what are you talking about? You explained about the incident involving Saki and Yamano. Yeah. The female announcer. Did all that happen just last spring? Wow, it seems so long ago. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna remember something from that far back? Anyway. Yeah. Oh, hey, Yosuke. What's up? Man, this fog. It makes me feel like we're still inside the TV. I wonder if we can really find any new clues about the killer. And no use whining about it now. Let's step up and search and get that info. Or step up the search and get that info. Yes, we shall. Let's see. Do you still not have any new books? No, you don't. What a bummer. Hello. This fog has got to be some kind of biological weapon. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> You know who I heard it was? Junez! Yeah, that's right, Junez! Oh, yeah. Ugh. The country- <laughs> Okay, no. Hey, Yuki! Information on what happened before we entered the TV world. Hmm. You know? About that first murder, I wonder why it happened. Let's ask around and gather as much information as we can. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I don't need to talk to our teammates, because they're all going to say the same thing. What about Daidara? Yes, yes, yes. Oh! I didn't mean to accept another quest. Oh! But I have it. Okay. Sure. Oh! Okay, I know what those do from the names. Alright. 
Basically, their shield against magic and physical attacks in battle. Ooh. I think that's a weapon for, uh, Yosuke. <laughs> okay. I was hoping you would say something. Okay. Crud, I don't remember who to talk to. It's been so long. But I, I'm curious. Is that a weapon for Yosuke, the grilled corn? I think it is. <laughs> Yes, oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, this game has some pretty funny weapons. You know what other game has some? Days. Kingdom Hearts 358 Days over 2. Oh my gosh. I've seen some of them. I've, I've unfortunately never had a DS. So I haven't been able to play it, but I've watched playthroughs. I've seen pictures of those gag weapons. They are hilarious. I believe Axel's chakrams become pizza. <laughs> for the because there was a multiplayer it's it's so funny oh my gosh anyway Ugh. hey listen to this Rizik came and spoke to me this is a once in a lifetime thing I asked her for her autograph and what type of guy she's into anyway what do you want I'm sure you can see how I'm how busy I am didn't they capture the suspect and put a lid on that case are you done asking questions Good. Now go away. I'm very busy talking to Rosette right now. Wow, really? <clears throat> I've been asking around about Teddy, too. But I'm surprised how many people actually remember him. They were like, oh yeah, that guy in the bear suit from Juness. But nobody has seen him yesterday or today. He's loved by so many different people. Where the heck could he have gone? We'll find out. Don't worry. It still amazes me that Laura Bailey voices Rise, who has a very cute, childlike voice, and she's also Abby in The Last of Us. Regardless of how you feel about her character, I'm not a fan of her personally either. But her, Laura Bailey's performance? Mwah, top notch. She deserved that award. And anyone who ever threatened her? Mm -mm. That is beyond wrong, and they should be ashamed. Anyway, um... Chie, any luck? Even if someone's been killed, everyone just forgets so easily. But rumors they hear from friends and TV can't remember for a long time. Why is that? It's been a while since the first two incidents. Do you think we'll find anyone who still remembers them? We can only hope. Hello. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to go in the shrine. Whoopsie. Out here. I meant to talk to the people out here. Although it could go in there. We will find out. This fog is sure dark and creepy, isn't it? Oh, you have a question for me? Yes. A little while ago, they said that a suspect had been caught. It was in the newspaper. It was that Namatame-san, right? Actually, no. I remember seeing him around from time to time. Oh, how horrible. It really does frighten me. I don't recall seeing any other strange people, so I'm sure he's the culprit. And... We've proven that wrong. There is somebody else, but we gotta figure out who. Is it true that there were no other suspicious individuals? Okay, so we made headway. What about you, good sir? I can't remember something from that long ago. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I could do that. Recall anyone suspicious? Yeah, yeah, okay. I just thought I'd ask. Okay. Who else? Hello? Since all I hear from everyone is poison, poison, I've gotten kind of freaked out, too. I wonder where I can buy a gas mask. I need to get one. Everyone else has one already. Really? You don't say anything? Okay. Why am I outside? When I'm at home, I just see more news about the murders. I thought I'd stay out here and watch the sunset. Of course, I'm going to watch TV when I get home anyway. Even then, I can't see the sunset because of all this fog. Ah! I hate it! It's so depressing! Ah, do you have a question? About the murders. Oh, come on. Don't make me even more depressed. 
They said on the news that the suspect had been caught. So that whole thing is over now, right? What else is there? Uh. Somebody knows something. It's a small town. If there was anyone suspicious, there would have been rumors going around all over. Or there would be rumors. But at least I haven't heard any news or rumors like that. So I'd say there's no such person. Hmm. I seriously doubt that. Oh boy. You gotta be careful when taking your motorcycle out on a foggy day. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, um... Where else do we want to look? Floodplain? I don't remember ever having to go to the shrine to talk to anyone there. Like, inside the shrine. So... Hmm. Ah, oh, it's you! Fog's pretty thick today. I go out on walks, and I can hardly recognize my surroundings. Pretty sad, ain't it? But hey, thanks for stopping to talk to me! Um... That lamp I asked you about, you still looking for it? Oh. So that must be in the Heaven Dungeon. Okay. Really? Okay. So, not you. Hello. My daughter was in an accident. On top of that, it was a hit and run. Nobody could tell what kind of car it was because of all the fog. Sheesh, this is horrible. Thankfully, she wasn't hurt too bad. But she was right, wasn't she? The fog is dangerous. I need to start letting everyone know. Well, yeah, if you can't see. The fog isn't clearing up, is it? Isn't that just a little strange? My wife is all business as usual, but I'm a little worried. By the way, do you need anything? About the murders, I'm sorry. All I remember is that something happened. I know it was pretty shocking. But what can I say? A lot of time's passed. Alright. Recall anyone suspicious. We've had a lot of people come to our store, but I can't say anyone was particularly suspicious. Hi, kitty. About the murders. Now that you mention it, the town was a buzz all a buzz last spring. You remember that, don't you? Well, yeah. Have I seen a strange person? I don't know. Out in the country, if there was anybody strange walking around, everyone would know about it right quick. True. Okay. Ugh. I can't believe I can't remember everyone you gotta talk to at this point. Because it's been so long since I played through the finale. Or close to it. Because yeah, we are getting there. No one here. Alright. Well then. There's one place we haven't checked. And that would be... Junez. Hello. Can I help you? About those murders. Eh? The incident last spring? I don't remember anything from that long ago. I'm gonna be studying for college entrance exam next year. So I've got no room for useless information like that. Da. Really? Ah, now that you mention it, my friend was saying she saw someone. I think she's just wandering around the shopping district. Why don't you ask her? Aha! Hey, Nato. Right. Saki Konishi and Mayumi Yamano. There should be a commonality between the two. Surely, there were some witnesses. Any scrap of data could be useful, no matter how small. Okay, so now... Hopefully that person's in the shopping district? Let's see if we can recognize somebody who wasn't there before. You? Was it you? No, I know, I know they were there before, but I was thinking maybe they got additional dialogue. You never know. Ah! It was somebody who was already there. Okay. Uh, oh, that! You remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know, she passed away a while ago. 
She told me how that Namatami person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation to Saki? Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So what else can we find out? Is there anyone else out here? Kanji, I didn't talk to you yet. You probably... Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was wondering if maybe you had heard something since I hadn't spoken to you yet. You say the same thing? All right. Well, somebody must know something. Is it you? Nope. Can't talk to her either. Okay. What about you? No, still the same. Where could they be then? Aside from Namatame's son. Okay. We've done all we could. You finished- you met up with your friends after you finished gathering information. Alright. <sighs> I'm seriously pooped. Most of you probably already know. But those of you who have never seen this game, this is your probably last chance to guess as to who you think it might be. Because I believe we're at the point where it gets revealed. Okay. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. Yeah, I know. Same. It was the same for me. There was absolutely no talk about the case whatsoever, let alone the true culprit. Yup. Ditto for me. Actually, in my case, I kept getting bombarded with questions and couldn't get them onto the main subject at all. Ah, yes, the burden of being a celebrity. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. What should we do? Well, one steak bowl, please! <laughs> Chie That's and her not steak. What I meant. But then again, I guess we might as well take a break. There's not much more we can do, right? I'll have a crab and egg fried rice. Ooh. You know that doesn't sound too bad. I'll have roast pork ramen with extra noodles. Oh, now that our tummies are full, let's share what we learned, even if it wasn't much. It certainly can't hurt. You spoke with everyone about the information you gathered today. So, to sum up, there really was no new information. The end? Eh. The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed, now that over half a year has passed. Yeah. There wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, Heard that, that too. the Midnight Channel. Hmm. I asked around about Teddy too, but no one's seen him. Yeah, poor guy. Where the heck could he be? Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. Do you have anything, Naoto? Any new, uh, deductions? 
Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. Yeah, darn it. I can understand that. She's intelligent, but she still needs leads. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. We just gotta think about it, right? The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano. As well as be in a position to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Hmm. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. <sighs> I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. All right. And we'll be here. Just sitting here won't help you think any better. You decide to go outside and to get some fresh air. I don't blame you, you. It's snowing. No wonder it's chilly. Oh, I love snow. Ugh, it's freezing out here. Maybe this will help clear my head and get my deductive muscles flexing. One can only hope. <laughs> hey, is it snowing? Too bad the fog's so thick. The snow just gets lost in it. There must be something that's been overlooked. It's urgent that you get over the roadblock facing you. The clues you need must already be in your hands. What's the matter? You should go over everything you know one more time. The culprit had some sort of connection with both Mayumi Yamano and Saki Konishi. And judging by the warning letters, the culprit most likely knows about the other side and what you did there. It's highly likely that they also knew what Namatame was doing and stood back to watch. Who would know all of these things? Another oddity about the case is that there were almost no witnesses. Both warning letters seem to have been delivered directly to your house, but no one saw anyone suspicious. No one unusual was seen around Mayumi Yamano or Saki Konishi either. Despite the police dispatching an unusually high number of officers to perform a thorough investigation, there must be someone in this small town who fits all the facts. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is this is your last chance think about it somebody would not arouse suspicion by coming to her house to deliver those warning letters somebody would have contact with both victims mayumi and saki what kind of person and who could that be Hmm. It's it's a uh, not any of these. It's a uh, it's not a go. Not a ghost killer. No. 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 Who is it? Who could it be? Last chance. The answer is. Dun da da da. Adachi. Of course. If you look only at the circumstances, you can't completely rule out that possibility. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. Because he's a cop. Get it? He would have been able to approach your house with ease. And he knows the area well. Yes, he's Dojima's partner. What neighbor would get weirded out or suspicious that he would be coming by the house? See? Uh, thinking about it. You encountered him many times while investigating the case. Yes. Did you notice that while we played? Those of you who don't know anything about this game. Did you kind of pick up on that? He was always hanging out around Junez a lot. Mm-hmm. Subtle detail that I appreciate. You learn much about the police's movements from Adachi as well. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. Yeah, ever think that maybe him slipping with some of those details from the investigation 
Maybe that wasn't an accident. However, this is actually new. Should you tell your friends about your suspic suspicions about Adachi being the culprit? I think this actually can lead to another ending as well. Like the real bad ending, I think. If you say you won't tell them. But we are not going to do that. We are going to tell them. You spoke Adachi's name. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. Think about it, guys. A member of the police force. That is an interesting approach. It would certainly explain the lack of witness reports. Mm-hmm. It's the same reason no one ever reported seeing Namatame's truck. This is a small town, so everyone must have known who he is. Yeah, and he's never give anyone a reason to be suspicious of him. Really? He acts perfectly nice. Which is what threw me off the first time I was seeing this game, when it, somebody was streaming it. Oh man, good times. That was my very first encounter with Persona. Just watching somebody stream it, and I, I was invested. I got invested in the mystery. And Adachi never crossed my mind, because I guess, I don't know, I'm too trusting. <laughs> now I'm not when it comes to Persona games. Like, uh... I called a certain somebody in Persona 5 would betray us before it even happened, my first playthrough. I'm not gonna say who, but uh, if you know, you know. Anyway. And since he's a detective, people definitely wouldn't have thought of him as being suspicious. Exactly. In fact, he could use his position to his advantage and hide critical information. Yup. Huh. Well, if you think of it that way... I guess it's possible. It's very possible. But we're talking about Adachi here, right? I mean, really? Adachi? He's your textbook lousy detective. You sure? Are we really on the right track here? Actually, regarding Detective Adachi... Yes? I'm not sure how to put it, but there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. Do tell! Elaborate, Nato. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to... No, go ahead. What? Bless you. <laughs> it's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Yeah, I guess. We need to tell everyone else. Either way. But do continue, Nato. Do tell us what you think. Adachi-san? Her outfit is really cute. <laughs> That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and... What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? Well, there's another connection. When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. Well, yeah. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Guard her? He didn't spend the night there? Hmm. Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found oh? Out this afternoon. But I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Called out Detective to a girl Adachi in his class. also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. Mm-hmm. So that's two connections to both our victims. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Then you think he had something else on his mind? Yeah, wanting to know what she knew. And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Mm-hmm. Come to think of it, we've been running into that guy a lot, in all sorts of places. Yeah, we have. Like I mentioned, we, like, right after we would beat a dungeon or whatever, we would see him hanging out in Junez, right? 
even if his social link wasn't available. Uh, but we would see him there, which, like I said, I think it's just a little subtle hint. So subtle you might not think anything of it, and I love this game for doing that. That's so cool. And every time he'd tell us what the police were doing before saying, Oops, I said too much and clamming up. Uh-huh. Was that all to throw us off the trail? It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Yeah, because, like I said, also the neighbors know him. They know he's Dojima's partner, so why would they freak out? Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Yep, because he's got access to everything. Various peculiarities have begun to cast a suspicious shadow on Adachi. Then... is it really Adachi-san? Mm. It's him, alright. This is still only a tentative theory. We should work to confirm it as soon as possible. Then that's what we'll do! This is now Toshiragane. Something has occurred to me about the case, and I'd like to get Detective Adachi's input on it. Huh? The transport? It's right now? Right, I, I see. Thank you. What was that about a transport? Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. Oh boy, that can't we be a good thing. Once. Things are moving quickly now. You feel that you are getting closer to the truth. Secrets of Truth, rank four. Hooray! Oh boy. Things are heating up. Huh? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> hey, wouldn't you, you know like to know? Went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. Not surprising. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. Probably to visit his daughter. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. Hmm. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Something tells me you want him out of here because you don't want him blabbing what he told us already. Didn't you guys think so too? Hey, what are you doing here anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. Adachi, where's Namatami? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Ah, so he hasn't heard. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. Uh-huh. Give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Good instinct. Is this more of your detective's intuition? Yeah. He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about it. And you kids should really get home too. You're gonna get in the way of police business. Why the rush? I've gotten into you today. It's odd to see you taking work so seriously. Come on. I'm always given 110% when it comes to the job. You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm. Kind words, but do you mean them? What are you all doing here? We came to confirm something with Adachi-san. You should question Adachi. A 
about when Yamano vanished. The time the announcer went missing? I can't say for sure offhand. It's not like I saw or anything. Which we know was a lie. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's kind of hazy that far back. Yukiko already said, oh, he was there guarding her. He would have had to have contact with her. About Saki's interrogation. Why wouldn't I question her? She discovered the announcer's body. But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. Hmm. About the warning letter. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in police custody now, correct? Oh, how convenient. Uh, I don't really remember. Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Sure you the are. The accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another, it sort of slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Clearly not. Jeez, what are you asking me all this for? For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? I think you Regina know. Regina-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your wounds aren't healing. And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report in. Just uh -huh. one thing, please. We know Not for yet. now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Someone else killed them. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? Yeah, do you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, right. Because we think it might have been you. What? Uh, that's ridiculous. Is it though? We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. <clears throat> what did you just say? You are busted. Put them all in. What's this putting them in business? Nobody ever mentioned that to you, now did they? Do you know something about the method behind their murders? Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... I see. Now I finally understand. To tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. Ah, yes, I do. At the time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. And in response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. Ah, that's true. Because we had saved everybody else. Right. The only people they knew about were Miss Yamano, Saki Senpai. Yeah. And then Nanako, of course. Or I guess. Did they know? Well, they thought Mitsuo was. Or wait, they knew about uh, King Moron. They knew about him because. You had like no what reason to say such a thing. Yeah. All of the cops, the regular police, did not know that there was anybody else rescued. After all. There are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Odd, that. Very valid point. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? Yeah, do you have anything to say for yourself? I don't know. I said I'm busy. Wait, you son of a bitch! Get back here. Oh, such a liar. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, now Dojima's pissed. Of course. 
Not Matame's hospital room. Adachi isn't here either. Cower ran away. I swear he ran this way. Damn it. Where the hell did he go? Look in front of you. Where else would he go? Did you find him? I contacted security. Nobody's seen Adachi, and there's no record of anyone leaving this area. So he must be still in this ward somewhere. Nope. He's still here? But we looked. We didn't find him anywhere. Guys. That bastard. In front of you. <clears throat> Dojima-san? For heaven's sake, what are we going to do with you? I'm sorry. I got carried away. Oh. Do you even want to get better? If you keep this up, there could be lasting damages. Ooh, yeah. She's right. Have you forgotten how much trouble it caused you last time? Y you're right. Sorry. Go rest, Ojima. We've got this. You've got to find Adachi. I need to square this away with him. Please. We're on it. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would. But could he have... Gone in there? Yeah, I think so. If he's the killer, he can go through, right? Right. Oh, I guess they weren't pointing out that. Because, yeah. Who would believe it? You mean he went in through here? That makes sense. We searched every inch in the direction he ran off. There's nowhere to hide. I don't think we could have missed him. No. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Going now, going tomorrow. Going tomorrow. I think it's we need too to prepare to go in from here. We're not 100% positive he used this TV, and on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Exactly. Let's go in from Janess, like always. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. Hell yeah! The extremely suspicious Detective Adachi. You've taken another step closer to the truth. One could say we've reached out to the truth. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Uh, playing this again makes me want a Persona 4 remake. In the style of Persona 3 Reload, because it was so good. <laughs> oh. I loved Reload so much. But for now... The whole Persona 4 getting remake thing is a rumor. They've been saying that about Persona 1 and 2 as well. Or more so, was it Persona 2? The duology. Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment, I think. Has also been rumored to be getting a remake. We'll see. I'm for it, whatever it is, because I love Persona. Although with Persona 2, I don't know how they would maybe implement social links. Or they could just keep it out altogether? Who knows? Because the early Persona games, 1 and the 2 duology, did not have it. That all started with 3. So, yeah. This... It seems that you come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where? Am I? Teddy! Sensei? Why are you here? I can ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. 
I was no one from the start. Aww. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. Everyone's worried about You're you. always so kind, Sensei. I figured something out. That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. Oh. As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. Yeah. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. Well, I'm glad that they found you. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. Aww. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. Yeah. Oh, Teddy. <laughs> I really am stupid. No, you're what not. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. Aww. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh, yeah. Sensei, one day, when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. Oh. Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her, I'm really sorry. Yeah, he doesn't know yet. There's no need to save that, or to say that, Teddy. She made it. She's alive. Huh? Really? She's in rough c condition, but she is still alive. Not a chance. She'll make it. Wow. That's wonderful. Aww. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Maybe. Something like that. Uh -huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? Let's move on together. But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. Same here. Bear puns and all, we still love ya. And... Max star rank. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Hallel, the ultimate form of the Star Arcana. I know who Hallel is now. 
I had to make that persona in Persona 3 Reload to help me with a certain secret boss in that game. And I'm not talking about the Reaper. <laughs> Yay! Evade Electric. Eh. Honestly, the abilities you have now are way too good. So, yeah, we'll be fine. But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Teddy. Goodbye, Sensei. Aww. Hey, you three. Before you know it, Teddy is gone, and Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. Oh. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well now, it's about time we departed once again. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. Ah, oh, the Velvet Room music. <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Can you imagine how cool it would look in a remake? If it happens? We do need Persona 6, though. We need some more info How did on it that. Go? Did you find Teddy? Because that's got to be no, happening, too. No one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. No. <laughs> we have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. Whoa, look how dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered something. Did I screw up by telling them right away? I don't think so. There's a certain scene you can get that's new to Golden. I don't think I screwed it up. We'll see. I don't want to say anything more in case I didn't. What the... There's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me a sec to try finding Adachi. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? That's Our why the fog's happening. The fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then, maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Well, I can say for sure he's not here. We'll find him, don't worry. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. 
Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? Aw. I love her glasses. They're pink. You know, I actually have some pink <laughs> reading glasses that are like that. If it wouldn't mess up my eyes because they're for reading, then I wear them now just because. <laughs> But this yeah, place. they're pink like that. <sighs> oh, Nanako. I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. No, you're not. Nanachan, I'm so sorry. Teddy, she's alive. She'll be all right. Teddy? Oh. I heard uh, your voice. She's so cute. You said hang in there. Oh. I heard my big bro and everyone else too. Encouraging her to not give up and keep fighting. Oh. Nana chan. Oh, hold on. I'll get the doctor. It seems she's asleep again. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. Yeah. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. Yep. My Pretty voice. cool, huh? And theirs too. Everyone. In any case... There are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. Will do. I don't remember ever hearing Nanako snore like that before. If I'm an unknown <laughs> being, Aww. the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nanachan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. You bet. I, I'm just a shadow. But Nanachan cheered up when she heard my voice. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. There you go, Teddy. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nanachan? Teddy's strong will that allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Ooh. Kin Kintoki Doji has transfigured into Kamui. Right. I need to get back to the others. Hang in there, Nanachan. I'll be back soon. Aww. How did I never notice that snoring sound effect before? <laughs> I guess because I was always investing no what use. they were saying. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Rizuchan. Take it easy. Only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. Aww. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. Yeah. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. Oh, Rise. I'm all right. I just got a little dizzy. Don't blame you. How long were you using your persona in here? The fog's so dense. Jeez. It's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. Very true. Oh, you know one criticism I did have while I'm thinking of it, a Persona 3 re Reload, is you know how in this game and Persona 5, like, 
when you do your social links, if they're your party members, they'll sometimes get an extra ability. For some reason, Persona 3 Reload did not do that. I thought that the original Persona 3 didn't do it either. But I thought for Reload, they might implement that. So I thought, like, Fuka, who's our navigator in that game, would get some extra abilities, kind of like Risei here did and Futaba did. So that was a, one thing that disappointed me, but... I agree. Overall, still a wonderful game. Fatigued. Even if we found a dachi, I love our it. capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Right. And I will still say, as much as I adore this game, I think Reload has beat it. They're both so close, though. I... Oh, it's so hard. They're so good. I just love Persona, man. It's so good. My second favorite franchise ever. I I Damn it. I think that's pretty so clear. To run smack into a dead end. Kingdom Hearts is first, then Persona. So good. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. It's all right, Rise. You're just tired. It's okay. Teddy? There he is. Little, where the hell were you? Yeah, you had everyone really worried, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! Oh. <laughs> You're so late! Who do you think you are? <laughs> Aw, don't cry. Um... Say, Chan. It's okay. Are you faking? No, stupid. S sorry. I want to help you all again. And we want you to help us again. So get your butt over here. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me. And that world. I wanted to tell you all. Okay. Go ahead. He listened to Teddy's confession since he, f he finally understands who he really is. That he was only a shadow. And that through... And that though he was at his wit's end, he was able to come back to your world. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? But one who developed a personality of their own. Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Everyone has them inside. Wait. You say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. Oh, you're far from ordinary, because not every shadow could gain a personality and will of their own and a persona to boot. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. It's all right. We're going to stop it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... Teddy... It's We're no gonna fix this. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. Yosuke! And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Ooh, what are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow! <laughs> so what's the problem with being a shadow? It's true that you may have been born that way, but you now possess the power of Persona. Yep. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a Persona. Doesn't it follow, then, that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters its shadow, or the shadow awakens to its ego, the only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Oh, Teddy's practically human, then! Yeah, basically. Uh, I'm the same as humans? Yep, I mean, come on, you have a human body you can transform into. 
You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. Yeah. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? Hey. Yosuke. He still has the same powers as us. He can do a lot with those powers. <laughs> He's actually pretty useful. Thank you. But I, I guess I get what he means. He's one of them, one of their own. I'm so glad I met you guys. We're glad we met you too. Bear puns and all, you goofy the bear. The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with too, right? <laughs> you fit right in, man. Yeah. I beg That's a pardon. better way to put it. Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> that face. Oh, no, no. Isn't that just you, senpai? <laughs> hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. <laughs> Stop crying, will you? Now's not the time for that. Aw. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and senpai. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Believe it or Whoa. not. I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Hmm. But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Yes, you can. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Yosuke. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Yeah, if nothing else, you'll encourage us to not stop looking until we find him. Uh, okay. Thanks, guys. Aw. All right, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. Agreed. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him, too. Leave it to Fuzzy. <laughs> You've taken another step toward the truth. Rank six. Yeah, this is all the secrets of truth is all story based. So you don't need to worry about it. Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decided to go home for today. <sighs> Alright, let's see. I hope I didn't miss out on s uh, I may have. Yeah. Or it's not gonna happen yet. Okay. I know I met the requirements. I'll give it a try, but... Oh, I can't remember, though, if I was supposed to say... I'm pretty sure it's not telling them about Adachi, telling the group, not telling them about him, leads to that bad ending. So I guess the scene I'm thinking of just doesn't happen yet. If Risei chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. We'll be fine. Hmm. Mm. I do smell a Dachi baby in here. But the fog is completely covering up his scent. <laughs> Adachi baby. <laughs> Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what. This is my time to shine. Oh, I'm getting something. Oh, lead the way. Super Saiyan Teddy. <laughs> Teddy? <laughs> not really. <laughs> hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. <laughs> huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. Ah, I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But 
That's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Oh. When we first... where was that? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep. There's someone there. Teddy, you really are amazing. <laughs> it was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Oh, boy. Huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think he said, yeah, I gotta go, but he ended up not. <laughs> so, no, he didn't. Okay, guys. To be fair. Fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. <laughs> Oh no. Here come the giggle fits. <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. A cheerful moon has returned to the group, thanks to Teddy. And you've taken another step toward the truth. Rank 7. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Look at his sprite. Damn. Yeah. A little bit different from the ones we've been seeing before, huh? Creepier. Did you kill Miss Yamano? You're getting on my nerves, kid. Answer the question. Did you or did you not throw Ms. Yamano into the TV? Fess up. <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? John Young Bosch does such a good job as a dachi. <laughs> he's also, of course, the protagonist, but he's so he gets the tone down. I called Being creepy and evil because I wanted to ask her something. And then she started getting hysterical on me. <laughs> Who are you? They're both really, really good also, of course, in the anime. Because in the game you don't really get to hear you speak much, but in the anime you do. Great job. And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? <laughs> don't make me call for help. <sighs> Shut up. Shut up, shut up! Oh boy. You need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? So yeah. She, Guess he was jealous. She fell in. <laughs> wow. So people can go completely inside. Hmm. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. Oh, how lucky. That happened in our lobby? Sorry, Yukiko. Guess I so. I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. 
But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. Mm hmm I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Except you were never in a relationship with her. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. Nuts. But you know, He's gone nuts. both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Ooh. You were responsible for Saki Senpai's death. Ooh. Yosuke is not going to be happy about this. Oh, yeah. Her name was Saki Konishi, or something like that. Ooh. At first, I just called her in because of work related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. Yosuke is not going to like hearing about this. What's this about, anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Adachi! Dude, she's like... Maybe 17 years old at most, okay? No. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But, I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out! <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> Jesus. If I'd walk into a death trap like that. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. You son of a bitch! Told ya. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. Uh, after the first time you knew. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. A council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Ugh, he is twisted. Shut the hell up! You know what would be scary? Well, no. I can't say. It's technically Persona 5 spoilers. You so I'll shut up. What happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here? Exactly. <sighs> so what if I knew? Did you trick Namatame? Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Yeah, remember you mentioned oh, that? the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know? That's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. 
It does sound interesting, though. B -b but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to savor that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. That sinister sprite change. <laughs> so good. Where no one could find her? So yeah. Save her yourself. You can do it. It was Adachi who gave him that idea. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatomi's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! <laughs> all I did was give him a little push. Yeah, a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Because he thought it was safe in here. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come Apparently. On. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. Okay, now you're starting to sound like Jigsaw, I would say. I never killed anybody. I just tested people's will to live. You know. And Namatame <laughs> did most of it. It's baloney. I have nothing to do with any of you. No. But you're we're partly behind that. He didn't have anything to do with Nanako and Dojima though, to be fair. Although by association, because he was the one who convinced Namatame to do what he was doing. In that aspect he was responsible. You're just dodging the blame. Yeah. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? No. Grr, what a jerkwad. I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. <laughs> It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Oh, I'm sure. Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Did you? Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with a TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long uh -huh. as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. All right. Of course, Clever. I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> but you were wrong. The police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police but were he did, because he wanted anyone. the attention. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. Yeah, this is all just a game to him. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. Ah. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? Apparently. You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. 
thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. Oh, so sorry. Couldn't they see how Not really. badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! Yosuke, your Sasuke is showing. <laughs> you can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Uh-oh. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. Right. Of course it is. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow. You can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters oh don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Bring Keep it on. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! Kanji. It's not gonna work. What a chump. Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? Yeah. Hello? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get back here, you! Ugh. Coward. We'll get him. Stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. Yeah, he certainly did. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Looks like it. Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? Let's hope we don't find out. I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. And that would be very, very bad. You mean everyone's going to turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Relax. Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finish this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Daring us to enter, is he? Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. She's right. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year. Now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. I'm with you. 
By pulling all our, your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. Only two more to go. Senpai, please don't go on alone. I understand that it must hurt since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. Yeah. Maybe that's why. I feel a presence kind of like yours up ahead. Oh? He might be calling to you. Wait, never mind. Forget I said that. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. You resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi. Oh boy. Let's see. Go to sleep. Now might be that scene I was thinking of. It's a quiet night. You remember what your friend said. He might be calling to you. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. Go see him alone. If you leave now, you may be able to make it in time before Juness closes. Yep, this is all brand new content for Golden. Adachi's entire social link was all new to Golden. The original did not have it. So, it's pretty cool. There's nobody around. Go on in. The room is quiet. There's no sign of anyone around. Is Adachi here? The entrance disappeared. This is a problem. Uh -oh. Why didn't you bring the rest of them? You're such a party pooper. You couldn't even bring your wannabe detective friend? I need to talk to you. To what? Change my mind? Don't kid yourself. Your whole gang should be here. You know, work together, beat the bad guy. Friendship, effort, victory. You guys love that stuff. I believed in you. Oh, really? Just what was it about me that made you want to believe in me so bad? Well... I don't have anything to say to you. If crimes could be solved by appealing to morality, we wouldn't need the police. The person you believed in was a version of me who only existed in your head. You decided on your own to believe in me. And that decision betrayed you. Why complain about it to me? Is that what you'll tell Dojima? You say the dumbest shit. It's people like you who come to me alone, naively thinking you can turn me around, that piss me off the most. What do you think will happen if I shoot you? You can't shoot me. Wow, very optimistic. Is your brain rotting or something? The bullet brushed your ear. You smell the hatred scent of burning gun smoke. Do you get it now? We're done talking. I won't miss next time. 
It didn't seem like a threat. But you don't think you can talk to Adachi anymore. You feel that your relationship with Adachi has changed dramatically. Jester becoming the hunger. Yep. Does anyone else change Arcanas in uh, in the series? I think he might be the only one that this happens with. But I could be wrong. But uh, yeah. Want me to let you choose? You can go back to your friends and bring them all here. Or you can die now. I guess regular revenge is boring, though. Let me see where your detective work takes you. It's always good for a laugh. You're <laughs> so persistent. Look at all that youthful vigor you've got. Come on, leader. Bring all your friends back here. Oh, I will. Just not right now. Well, bye-bye. Bye bye. The entrance is closed. It seemed Adachi's blocking you. That Adachi wasn't the real him either. Unless you come back with your friends, you won't be able to reach Adachi. You must go back for now. Welcome back. Oh. <laughs> I told you not to go alone. Though I knew you would anyway. Guess you know me so well, huh? It's okay. I understand. I'll keep it a secret from the others, and I won't ask about Adachi for now. But come on, you should trust us more. We just thought we would try to get through to him. Yosuke seems a bit sad. Aw. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. <clears throat> Attention, customers. It is now closing time. Please visit us again tomorrow. Thanks, Yosuke. You couldn't get through to Adachi. The day that the town will be swallowed by the fog should be near the end of the year. You must reach a decision by then. You must prepare yourself as completely as possible. Now what are they saying? Is this fog getting thicker and thicker? Or is it just me? Does this mean... The world's coming to an end? I actually heard someone say that. What, what do you think's gonna happen? Earthquake? Tsunami? Huh. Nothing's gonna happen. It's just fog, you doofus. Besides, if something terrible happens, the defense force or somebody is sure to come save us. Yeah, I guess you're right. What if some giant monster attacks Inaba or aliens? I saw a movie about something like this. <laughs> Oh boy. If only they knew what was really going on. Hey everyone, they posted the test results. Oh yeah. Uh, the alpha moment of truth. Well, wanna check it out? May as well. I should have aced it. Good thing I didn't actually Well, not a good thing It's, it's kind of sad I didn't need that social link boost Because I finished all the main social links Okay Oh, I plan to But I have been going for almost two hours So I'm going to stop this video here But I hope you guys enjoyed We have finally found the real culprit, and we're gonna go after him. Soon. I think there is still a secret boss, or second boss, not exactly secret, in the Heaven Dungeon that I never realized. Because I usually never went back in there when I played this game, so... But, uh, yeah. We might open the new dungeon next time, and then go do that. 
I think that'll be the plan. But uh, yeah, we have made some significant story progress now. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like, share it around if you want on this video. If you want to follow me on Twitter or support the channel on Patreon, both links will be in the description below as they usually are. And uh, yeah, things are heating up. I love this game. Ugh. I really do. It's I always have such a good time playing it. So, uh, yeah. But until next time, see you guys later.